This is Mahmoud Hassan Mehraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDWORKS. Today we will going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are given in this isometric view. First of all, I will start drawing from the top view. In the top view, I will draw a rectangle. And this rectangle has a dimension of 40 by 76. Then I will start both it to 64 unit. Okay. So I am selecting the top plane now sketch now select the center rectangle place the center rectangle here here now dimension it to 76 by 40 unit okay now i submit it for a better view now go to features and now it should boss now it should boss it to 64 unit okay so after that has been done in our sketch we can see uh, we have Two shape here and here so for drawing this two shape uh, in the upper face I will draw a center line and this center line has a dimension of 126 unit then I will offset the center line uh, of 10 units like here and here and then I'll use capping uh, like here and like here then I'll draw two circle here the dimension of this two cycle has not given but i think it will be 10 diameter okay after that then i will extrude it to 10 unit okay let's start so i'm selecting this face now sketch now normal to it now select the center line place the center line here as we can see the total dimension is 126 unit so this half dimension will be 126 divided by 2 unit okay so again select the center line here and also draw another line like here same as usual 126 divided by 2 unit okay after drawing just now select the offset entities and select these two lines and now select cap in and select uh, by uh, cap in by directional and select arc now press ok so after that has been drawn select the circle and in the circle place the circle here and draw a 10 diameter circle again also place here and draw another 10 diameter circle now i submit it for a better view now go to features now it should boss now it should boss it to 10 unit okay now press ok so we have extra boss it to 10 unit now this time we will draw in here uh, we will draw this shape okay for drawing this shape we can see first of all uh, we can we need to see this extra portion this extra portion has a dimension of 5 unit okay you can see that this extra portion has a dimension of 5 unit for drawing this portion I will first draw a center line here of 5 unit then I will draw a offset of this line like here for drawing this geometry okay so then I will trim this upper line then I will draw an incline line and here you can see the dimension of this to length total length here and here we can see it has a dimension of 88 unit and for this incline line we can see this incline line has a uh, dimension from this center line it will be 60 divided by 2 unit okay this dimension is 60 divided by 2 unit and this point has a dimension from this point it will be 36 unit then i will close the shape as usual okay then i will extrude boss it so let me demonstrate so i'm selecting this face now sketch now normal to it so after that select the center line place the center line at the center and dimension it to 5 unit okay dimension it to 5 unit now select the offset entities and for the offset entities, select the line option here uh, in the cap end and this dimension will be 88 divided by 2 unit 88 divided by 2 unit because you can see this dimension is 88 divided by 88 unit at total so the half dimension will be 88 divided by 2 unit okay now press ok after that I am zooming it now select the trim option and trim this upper portion okay 
we have trimmed this upper portion now select the line tools and draw an incline line like here okay after drawing that incline line select the smart dimension option and from this line to this line and uh, it has a dimension of 36 unit okay we have the 36 unit then from this line and from this center line this vertical distance will be 60 divided by 2 unit okay so i'm selecting this line and draw an line of 60 unit okay now close this line okay now we have gotten our geometry now i symmetric it for a better view now go to features now is to boss now is to boss it to and uh, now select the up to surface so i want to is to boss this to for uh, up to this surface okay now press ok now i symmetric it for a better view and in the back face we can see we have a circle circular profile and this circular profile uh, has a diameter of 38 unit and it has a street boss of 20 unit okay so i am drawing this portion so i am rotating here now select this face now sketch now normal to it now okay positioning here now select a circle and place the circle to this center and dimension it to 38 diameter now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features now is to boss now is to boss it to uh, 20 unit now reverse the direction now press ok so we can see we have almost done now it's, it's time for all the cut so in here we can see we have a extrude cut portion rectangle rectangle cut portion here for drawing this rectangle portion i'll first draw a center line and from the center line then i'll offset this two portion this will be 36 unit so this half will be 36 by uh, 36 divided by 2 unit then i'll close the shape okay then i'll just to cut this portion so i'm selecting this face now sketch now normal to it now select a center line from here and after selecting the center line place the center line here and dimension it to 20 unit so dimensioning to 20 unit now select the offset entities and select this line and now offset it to 36 divided by 2 unit now press ok now i submit it for a better view now go to features and now it should cut okay now select this arrow you can extend it or manually dimensioning dimension it now press ok so now here we can see we have another extrude cut here and this extrude cut circle has a dimension of 27 radius and it has a extrude cut of as we can see the total dimension here is 40 so this this extrude cut portion will be 40 minus 20 minus 10 so it will be 40 minus 20 minus 10 okay so i'm selecting this face now sketch now normal to it now select a circle and place the circle here and now dimension it to 27 radius so it will be multiplied by 2 okay now i submit it for a better view now go to features and now it should cut now it should cut it to 10 unit now press ok so now we can see we have another inner cut circle another and this inner cut circle uh, has a radius of 19 unit and it has a extra cut of 10 unit okay so i am selecting this face now I sketch now normal to it now select circle place the circle here and now dimension it to 19 unit mul uh, multiplied by 2 okay now i submit it for a better view better view now go to features now it should cut now it should cut it to 10 unit now press ok then we can see we have a, another extra cut circle this extra cut circle has a 20 diameter so i am selecting this face now I sketch now normal to it now select a circle place the circle here and dimension it to 20 diameter now i submit it for a better view now go to features and now it should cut now it should cut it to 20 unit now press ok so in here as you can see we have drawn out three case thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning. Be different.